by to tell us who is making good news this week. Yes, right. We hear other people doing good. It makes us feel good too, right? It's just good. Foster Hope Sacramento helps foster families and kids in our region and volunteers from all over coming together to give their building a new look. Angel Cardenas is standing by to tell us more. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, folks. A great, great organization over here doing some uh, very special things this morning. Foster Hope of Sacramento. You got shovels out. We got chainsaws going. We got a whole lot going on. This is Doug Newton with Foster Hope Sacramento. Now, this area is going to be transformed, I hear. Tell us all about what uh, all these great people are doing, Doug. Well, we've got the United Way who referred us to First Service Residential and Coast Landscape Management. They brought in all kinds of other partners, including EPS Remodeling, Amy's Ace Hardware, Sherwin Williams, Site One, Hunter Irrigation, NorCal Wholesale Bark, NDA's Landscape. We've gotten some tires that we're going to upcycle from Auburn Tires and Wheels and Gonzalez Tires. And Center High School has even gotten involved with EPS Remodeling to uh, bring out a... Uh, um, a wonderful play structure yeah. that they built for children. So it's a whole team of people out here, and uh, you know, remodeling's underway, landscape is underway. But tell us the importance of this area and what, what uh, you know, why this area is going to be, uh, what is going to be used for, rather. Well, Foster Hope Sacramento is a foster family agency, and for 35 years we've been helping foster children hook up with their foster parents um, and and uh, make sure that those uh, children are cared for. And one of the in essential pieces of work that we do is uh, visitation between families of origin and, and foster children. And so this, this area out here is going to be essential for making sure children feel connected to the families that they don't get to see as much when they're in foster care. Sure, and our buddy Barry over here. Barry's involved. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Barry. I don't see your your hand. Let's see the hands. Hands aren't dirty yet. Where are your gloves, Barry? You got to right get dirty. Here. I got my <laughs> there gloves. He's got his gloves. He's got them. Tell us uh, how you're a part of this today, Barry. Uh, we've always been proponents of giving back to the communities that we work in. So we have always, for the last five years, we've been involved in the Giving Day with United Way. So we just love kids. So we just want to help. That's the best thing, right? Yeah. Helping, helping out. And so you have your crew out here. Everyone's getting, uh, getting busy now. Looks like we have a big root coming out here. This is going to be a nice little area in this, in this, in this section, Doug. Barry's going to work with all, all the other people who are volunteering today to put in a bamboo fence here on the border. There's going to be a whimsical path that goes through here of stepping stones that are repurposed from this Modesto ash that was taken down on the side of the property. It was a sick tree. So we're kind of trying to use everything that we have, including some of the uh, bark that we got from the tree. And uh, they're bringing all kinds of other stuff to help us out today. So we, we can't say enough about the generosity of Barry and, uh, and Beth Farrell from First Service Residential and EPS and all the folks who are just donating their time and energy. It's incredible what United Way has been able to, to help us bring together in terms of community partnerships to, to make it happen for foster children. That's awesome, Doug. And when we come back, guys, we are going to actually get our hands dirty a little bit. Doug, you're going to get your hands dirty with Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Okay, we're going to do some digging. We're going to roll some, uh, some, some logs over, some tree stumps to help get this uh, thing ready. But just before the live shot, Doug asked me if he had a little donut on his face. He doesn't have any. You don't have donut. <laughs> donut. That's good. <laughs> because there are some sweets in the break room to give them a little sugar, give them a little pick-me-up. So Doug and I are going to go have a couple donuts, uh -huh. and then we'll be back out to do some work. Then you're going to roll up the sleeves and get dirty. Oh, my goodness. I love oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Angel Cardina is live for us this morning. Thank you. Love those stories of people doing good. If you have a story, you know somebody doing good, please let us know so we can have Highlight them here on the show as well. You can email us, good day at kmxtv.com. Back over to you. All right, a donut sounds good, actually, right about now. All right, have you